Alright guys, I am back again. Maurice Lavelle Wilson, BKA, the Master of Blue Pill Disaster, aka MGTOW Master Reese, aka the Fat Ass Winnie the Pooh MGTOW, aka MGTOW Samuel L. Jackson, aka the MGTOW Report, aka the Bitter Old Ugly MGTOW Guy, and on and on and on guys. But again, I want to focus on this, that slap with Will Smith. I don't want to so much focus on that slap as to I want to focus on why women should never be front and center. Guys, when you put women on the front and center of your life, you're always distracted. You're always taking your eyes off the prize. I think about the military. And I think about how when women are introduced to the pack with men, men get distracted. And men should not be distracted when their lives are up like that. I think also, I looked at uh, the first time I had ever seen a dude. I think it was Cam Capone's. He was interviewing Nas, Eminem's ex-bodyguard and there were a time they was getting into it with death row associates hawaii flying back to la and he was saying how he brought his wife with him and you know how men are you've heard stories of death row suge knight and tupac you heard that if they had beef with you or they had an issue with you, they'll fuck your bitch. So my whole thing is, guys, why are you taking women out? Why was he taking his woman? He said he thought it was a vacation, but he had M, Eminem with him. You got to be on guard, homie. You got to always be a bodyguard. Especially when you had you was protecting Eminem. And you brought your wife along. So, of course, when he got up out his seat to leave, the death row associates came and was on some shit with his wife. Guys, leave your fucking wives at home, man. Leave your wives at home. Better yet, don't fucking get married. Because I've told you time and time again, shoot, what was that? Football player Keyshawn Johnson. Suge was fucking off on her. He was fucking off on Michelle. Suge allegedly was fucking off on a whole bunch of dudes, bitches. Guys, why y'all around here? This goes back to the MGTOW philosophy. No cohabitation. No marriage, no relationships, and no having kids by these bitches, man. You put you can't concentrate. Because of a brawl. And you think she's your wife and your girlfriend. She's getting split. From her mouth to her asshole to her pussy. What you gonna do about it? As my boy, my favorite rapper all time said. What you gonna do? You gonna cry? Pimp C? You gonna cry? All you motherfuckers wise. Are getting penetrated. By other guys. They getting ejaculated upon. Y'all still want to marry these motherfucking bitches. Come on. I keep trying to school y'all, man. Y'all think I'm hurt. Y'all think I'm bitter. I've been married three times. I've been in relationships. Guys, they all mimic each other. All women are like that. We have a... a, a, a what I call that shit? Damn. What you call it with all the letters? A pseudonym. Is that right? A pseudonym. AWOL. A-W-A-L-T. All women are like that. And you guys, you still, you going around here. Oh, fuck that nigga, man. That nigga don't know what he talking about. That nigga just hurt. He was sent his own way. And then you find out that your wife been out there tricking. She been selling pussy. She been fucking her work husband. She been fucking off on her baby daddy. 
that she had before she met you. She been fucking off on her first love. She been fucking off uh, on guys she met in the street. She been fucking off on the pastor. She been fucking off on the deacon. She been fucking off on the dude, the coach, uh, to try to get her son to play. She been fucking off on the next door neighbor. She been fucking off on the weed man. And some of you motherfuckers bitches toot that powder. She been fucking off on the powder, dude. Some of you old ladies on that crack. She been fucking off on the crack, guy. She been fucking off. If some of them on meth and hair run, she been fucking off on the meth and hair run dealer. She been fucking off on the Molly dealer. She been fucking off on the Percocet dealer. And you motherfuckers, you lose it when you find out your wives are out here splitting her thighs for other guys. Guys, this information that we're giving you in this MGTOW set, in this MGTOW philosophy is golden if you only live by it. If you will step away from the matrix and stop believing in these motherfucking TV shows you see. Or if you must look at movies that are of the romance content, leave that shit where you looking at it. It's only in the movies. When you step back out here into the real world, into reality, just understand. Your old lady is dropping her pants for another man. Other men. Dudes are sticking their dicks up in your hole's rear end. Listen. In a, I always say, in a utopia, you wouldn't have that. But that's not where we're at, guys. All of you motherfuckers, bitches are out there getting nutted. And you know what I do? I, I bust in bitches sometimes. I bust on their ass. Or I bust on their pussy lips. Or I bust in their assholes. Because I'm like, goddamn, ODB. I like it raw. Ain't never caught none. Hey, I'm like Black Ram 313. There is no lying in therapy. Now, sometimes when I nut on the bitches or in the bitches, I make them pull up their britches and leave my semen on them. They get to take it home with them. Or they get to wear me around. Come on, guys. These bitches are getting down. And if you believe that your hoe, you the only one sleeping with your hoe, Use a motherfucking clown. Alright, this video has been quite long. It's almost eight minutes. So I'm about to dip. Guys, take heed to this motherfucking content I spit. Alright, I'm about this bitch. Peace out.